Right, today's little project, I've got, <laughs> well, got a bit of a collection happening here. Um, this Sony, I've only just picked this up and I've just bought a remote for it today, so I'm pretty excited about that. But this, I've been playing with this for a while and I've done a pretty detailed review on it. It's an HTR 6065 and I just thought I'll set it up today with the other two amps and just photograph it as a, a little bit of a lark. And I'll show you what happens when you turn the power on. It comes up saying internal error. Now, I've Googled the bejesus out of this, and there's either an internal wire fix or it's a, uh, it's a more sinister problem. So I believe these have a, an internal battery, and if the battery goes flat or if the unit's been off for a long time, and this one hasn't, but if it's been off for a long time, they forget where they are and they forget their region. So you've got to try and trick it into resetting the region. So what I've done, as I'll show you how to do this, I've got a firmware on a uh, thumb drive. You've got to power it off. Now this doesn't always work. Plug that in. There. Okay. Get out of the way. Hold the pure direct button in there, which is that one above the volume knob. Turn the power on. It should go into USB update. I can then let that button go and it'll run through its USB update which takes quite a few minutes and that might fix it and if it doesn't then I'm going to have to pull it apart and play with the onboard jumpers. So it goes through its uh, funky thing. I'm not going to bore you with it. Righto, so it's just come up with device error which is not good so I'm going to try that again and if it doesn't work I'm going to try the onboard uh, motherboard uh, jumper reset. The backstory on this amp was I bought this with some, some Onkyo 5.1 surround speakers and a sub. It has been working absolutely perfectly. I've got speakers connected at the back, so it's got a load on it. It doesn't have any HDMI plugs in, but all I did was try to turn it on, yeah, and just not doing anything. So I'm going to try this again, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to pull it apart. Righto, so I've just tried it again, device error again, so if I press that, internal error. So it's snafu'd and I'm going to pull it apart and see if I can work out what this jumper uh, fix is. So the next step is to pull this apart, pull it, the top off. So we've got a couple of screws on the side. One, two, a little bit dark, sorry about that. And then another two on the, on the, the other side and a couple on the back. So I'm going to pop the top off and we'll see what we can see inside. So all the screws are out. I've got a soldering iron heated up because I know I'm going to need it. Now obviously, obviously the power is off. Just like that. And I'm looking for a breaker or a jumper. So that's the main motherboard, the control board. And what we're looking for is down there. They are absolutely minuscule. Each one's probably only about a millimeter and a half across. It says R896, and I'll zoom in, zoom in on it so you can see it and not get lost. There it is right there, R896, because there are other jumpers. You've got jumpers there. Um, there are, I spotted some other ones. You've got jumpers there. So don't get lost, don't get confused. Um, what you're looking for is this big IC, these two little ICs, and the jumpers that you want adjust to the base. So a little bit ugly, but that's my jumper wire uh, on that on that um, on those two pads. So now we go through a process of booting this thing back up and trying to remember which, trying to trick it to tell it which uh, region it is. Right. So the next step is to turn the power on. Okay. No model info. So which is what we expect. Press BD DVD, and we cycle through until we get the right model number. So. What we're looking for an HTR6065 in this case. There we go. Then press straight. And then I've got to power it off, unsolder it, and then turn it all back on. There we go. Unsoldered, which is awesome. And then I'll just make sure that's clean. And then I'll put the um, next time I power it back on. It should be uh, all clear. Right, plug this back in. 
Nothing on the front, which is exactly what you expect. Power on. Bingo. Look at that. Fantastic. Press radio. Oh, thank you, Internet. This is awesome. And it's even remembered the last station memory, 105.3. Anyway, problem solved. All right, and just to prove it's not a fluke, so click on the Sony first. Oh yeah, that's a good sign. Next is the Yamaha. That's a good sign. Next, an Integra, 55.3. Oh, listen to those relays. That's metal as. Very, very nice sound. So, perfect. All fixed. Zero cost. Just for how I like it.